Available now. Link below. Brace yourselves, America, for the latest chapter in the Democrats' dystopian saga as Senator Bernie Sanders unveils his most outrageous proposal yet, a 32-hour work week. In a stunning display of his true colors, Sanders snapped at a Fox business reporter who dared to question the sanity of his communist agenda. The senator, the senior moment, exposes the depth of the Democrats' twisted plot to sabotage our thriving economy and erase the American dream. As we peel back the layers of this communist light nightmare, it becomes clear that Bernie's volatile outburst is just the tip of the iceberg. Small businesses are set to crumble under the weight of skyrocketing labor costs while job growth stagnates and the nation's prosperity hangs in the balance. So don't miss this eye-opening report as we uncover the sinister intentions behind the Democrats' latest scheme to mess up the economy and usher in a future we should all fear. Well, folks, before we dive into the latest of Bernie's senior moment, let me remind you about the importance of protecting your hard-earned money. Just like the Democrats' misguided attempts to mess with our economy, soaring electricity bills are threatening American households. Power companies are drowning in $13 million of uncollected bills and costs keep climbing. But there is a solution, a magical little device. I'm holding it right here. It can help slash your power bills and beat the greedy utility companies at their own game. This compact energy-saving device optimizes your home's power usage, and you can get it an exclusive 65% off by visiting DontWastePower.com. That's DontWastePower.com. You'll find it linked below. Now back to exposing the Democrats' communist agenda. In a stunning display of economic illiteracy, Senator Bernie Sanders has once again demonstrated his commitment to undermining the very foundation of our nation's prosperity. His latest proposal, a 32-hour work week, is nothing more than a thinly veiled attempt to force businesses into unsustainable models that will inevitably lead to widespread job losses and economic devastation. And when confronted by Fox Business reporter Hillary Vaughn about the potential consequences of his outrageous plan, well, Sanders resorted to the tactics of a petulant child snapping at the reporter and refusing to provide a coherent answer. Watch this. Can I talk to you about the 32-hour work week? Sure. It seems like Fox Business. Yeah. It seems like Democrats want businesses to be taxed more, pay their really? workers. Really? Is that what you think? <laughs> pay no, their, I pay their workers. Excuse me. I didn't Excuse get to ask me. a question. Okay, thank you. Uh, Senator, you I... You want to hold it? Okay. We held a hearing on a 32-hour work week because what we have seen is that over the last 50 years, Despite a huge increase in worker productivity, almost all of the new wealth has gone to the top 1%, while 60% of the people are living paycheck to paycheck. Many of our people are exhausted. We work the longest hours of any people in the industrialized world. I think it's time for a shortened work week. Can I ask you a question about that? It seems like Democrats want businesses to be taxed more, really? pay, no, pay, their, my pay their workers more, so. lower prices, no, think, and now pay Democrats, people not to work. You know what I would like to see? I can How are businesses going to survive that? That's the well, question. I, How can businesses well, survive I all of those proposals? When Mr. Bezos pays an effective tax rate lower than the average worker, I think we have a real problem in our tax system. I think that billionaires have got to stop paying their fair share of taxes. Thank you. Unreal. Now, this shocking behavior is a stark reminder of the left's inability to engage in meaningful dialogue when faced with the realities of their misguided policies. Instead of addressing the legitimate concerns raised by Vaughn, Sanders chose to deflect an attack, demonstrating a complete lack of understanding of the basic principles of economics that have made our country the most prosperous nation on earth. Now, let's be clear. Bernie Sanders' 32-hour workweek proposal is a recipe for economic disaster. As the California Chamber of Commerce points out, this ill-conceived plan would cause labor costs to skyrocket by as much as 25% in some cases, making it nearly impossible for businesses to hire new employees or create jobs. The result? A stagnant job market, reduced economic growth, and a bleak future for American workers and their families. Moreover, Sanders' proposal would force employers to make tough decisions such as firing full-time employees or relying on temporary workers to make ends meet. Now, this would lead to a less stable workforce, reduced job security, and a lower standard of living for countless Americans. It's no surprise that even some of Sanders' fellow Democrats are skeptical of this radical idea. Senator Bill Cassidy, the ranking member of the HELP Committee, hit the nail on the head when he said a 32-hour work week for 40 hours of pay is one more example of the federal government promising free money. Nothing is free. It would kill jobs and increase inflation. That's what he said. Now, the truth is, Sanders' proposal is just another example of Democrats' relentless pursuit of a socialist agenda that prioritizes government control over individual liberty and free market principles. 
By championing policies that stifle economic growth and punish success, they seek to create a society where everyone is equally poor and dependent on the state. Now, the contrast, Republicans, they understand that the key to a thriving economy lies in fostering an environment where businesses can grow, innovate, and create jobs. By reducing regulations, lowering taxes, and promoting free market competition, we can unleash the power of the American entrepreneurial spirit and ensure that our nation remains a land of opportunity for generations to come. So as we witness Bernie Sanders' latest attempt to undermine our economy, it's crucial we remain vigilant in defense of the values that have made America great. We must reject the siren song of socialism and embrace the time-tested principles of capitalism, individual liberty, and personal responsibility. So Bernie Sanders' 32-hour workweek proposal is a dangerous and misguided attempt to fundamentally transform our economy and erode the very foundation of the American dream. As conservatives, we must stand firm in our commitment to free market principles and resist the less relentless push towards a socialist dystopia. The future of our nation depends on it. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. As we've seen today, Bernie Sanders and the Democrats are hell-bent on destroying the American economy and the way of life with their outrageous proposals like a 32-hour work week. This is nothing more than a thinly veiled attempt to impose a socialist agenda on our great nation, and we must resist it at all costs. The stakes couldn't be higher. If we allow the left to continue down this path, we'll soon find ourselves living in a dystopian nightmare where businesses are crushed under the weight of government regulations. Job growth is stifled, and the American dream is nothing more than a distant memory. So it's up to us, the American people, to stand up and fight back against this insanity. We must defend the values of capitalism, individual liberty, and personal responsibility that have made our country the envy of the world, because our future depends on it. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.